So good evening to everyone. I'm Gabriel Pirigis Souza. I'm supervised by Mr. Malai Scola. I'm 30 year of thesis now. Now I present the role of beta lactamases in control of RNA viruses. So you probably know that viruses have been protagonists of, of a lot of events in humankind. We have measles, uh, smallpox. We are now living one of these moments with SARS-CoV-2. But to study virus, we need to develop a cell culture because it allowed us to produce and isolate this virus once they are mandatory intracellular parasites. So the tra traditional method to isolate these viruses is keeping them incubate the sample in shell vials or flasks, and usually these cells are maintained in culture with antibiotics. And also this sample can be supplemented with antibiotics depending on the sample. And then cell and sample are incubated until we could observe the cytopathic effect by optical microscope. Usually for, for SARS-CoV-2, we had a suppression of the rates of isolation when we have antibiotics in culture. And that's, it's, it's clear when we do the Yashu method for it, where we replaced the antibiotics for a 0.2 micrometers filter by centrifugation. And also we miniaturized the, the sample for a 96-well plate. We do the adsertion by centrifugation, which we do, uh, usually don't, and we don't use ant antibiotics in any of our steps. We also incubate until we observe the cytopathic effect. And here is one result of around 12,000 of inoculations, we have 50.5 thousand uh, isolates. And I arrived here in Yashu studying the effect of angiotensin receptor blockers in the expression and cycle of SARS-CoV-2 because of the pandemic. And we, in the beginning, we used penicillin because it's a small molecule that should not interact with these receptors as an egg control. But Unlike what I saw with the ARBs, who increased the expression of, of SARS-CoV-2, penicillin decreased a little bit, a maximum of minus 20. And we started, we kept these, these results for, for publishing about the ARBs, but we decided that we would study these effects of penicillin later. And studying about that, we discovered a lot of reports saying that using penicillin in our eukaryotic cells can change uh, for example, uh, the proliferative profile of the cells in many of the cells, and also the differentiation of cells such as adipocytes, embryonic, mesenchymal, primary cells, and keratinocytes. But most of the research groups, they still using uh, penicillin in, and other antibiotics in their cell culture media, because the side effects are not always obvious, especially in immortalized cells. And recent reports say that using antibiotics in our cell culture, they change also the profile of, expression, of gene expression and the regulation of, of cells, and that could change our results in our manifs. A, a great example is this article where they have here the control and here the profile of the, of the genes for penicillin streptomycin treated cells. And what is curious is that we have some genes of drug response down-regulated and also here up-regulated. And thinking about drug response we, is where we arrive at in the beta-lactamases because these cells have uh, immunometallobeta-lactamases that you already know now. It's a, a family of 18 enzymes depending on iron and zinc. But the parallel that I want to do is that bacteria use this for cleavage of antibiotics and most of the eukaryotic cells, they, they, they are linked, the beta-lactamases are linked to drug resistance, res, resistance for chemotherapic drugs. Uh, this is a work from here, done in Yashu too, where they show it that beta-lactamases from uh, eukaryotic cells, THP1 and MRC5, they could uh, hydrolyze penicillin and they are inhibited by, uh, by uh, beta-lactamase inhibitors. 
But think about viruses. What is important for us is the other characteristics of these enzymes related to cleavage and, and uh, RNA degradation by many of them. Uh, here are some examples. Here, the CPF73, just the internal portion with uh, endonuclease activity, and here, LACTB2 that has, also has this activity. So thinking about the replication cycle of the viruses, especially the RNA virus, they most of them replicate in the cytoplasm, and that represents a huge amount of RNA in the cytoplasm, especially in the virus sectors. So our question was, if could penicillin impact the replication of this virus by activating the beta-lactamases of the cell? So to test this, we started cultivation virus cells. Viru is monkey cells, but they are widely used for isolating viruses. We found penicillin, and then we treated the cells with increased amounts, non cytotoxic concentrations, of penicillins for 24, 48, and 72 hours. Then we infect the cells with, with the virus that we choose. We cover the supernatants 48 hours post-infection and quantifying by RTK-PCR. And that's what we got for penicillin, an increase for SARS, uh, increase in inhibition for SARS-CoV-2, Zika virus, and measles virus. That's virus from totally different um, families. But when we changed this manip for cefotaxime that should not activate the beta-lactamases, we didn't saw uh, this, this same inhibition profile. So we decided to test the beta-lactamases expression. Uh, we, we, by being informatic, we, we checked the genes in, in viewer 6 cells. We could find 18. I could find 17 by PCR until this moment. And then we tested the gene expression by RTK-PCR. And that's what we got. We have two, two, two beta-lactamases really increased, some small or moderated, some of them also inhibited. But when we change this for cefotaxin, we don't see the same profile of increasing uh, gene expression. So as partial conclusions for this work, we have the treating virus uh, cells with penicillin for 72 hours and uh, have reduced the RNA replication, the RNA virus replication, and could induce the expression of potential beta-lactamases. As per perspectives, we want to understand better this dose response and time effect. But the next step is to work in vitro with the, the beta lactamase that Lucille expressed. And <laughs> we also have to make it work because the two beta lactamases most increased we never expressed here in Yashu. So it's my next step and next change. Thank you so much. That's all.